Hey guys. So, do you ever go through life and think about your past and the houses you used to live in and, you know, where things started in life and blah, 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 all the rest of it? Well, I did exactly that just before. I was having a conversation and talking about houses that I grew up in and I decided to do a Google Street view of the house that all my paranormal experiences started in. So that's all the physical experiences that I had, that some of those things still happen to me today. And when I first started experiencing ghosts on a physical level. So I did that. I Googled. And I went around the corner of the house to the actual specific back door that started everything for me. So as a child, I got woken up one night. It was I was about eight years old. Um, I was woken up to somebody calling out my name and I followed the voice and it took me right out through the kitchen into the dining room and at the back of the dining room there was a glass sliding door which led out into like a little courtyard and I came up to the glass on that, the door and there was this face, a young male's face and it came right up to the glass and it said to me my name is and then disappeared that started an absolute roller coaster ride of all sorts of really cool stuff. Scary at the time because I was only eight, I absolutely shat my pants. But looking at the Google Street View images of this house, I literally have captured what I think is, I don't know, possibly an apparition standing in the window? Um... The figure, the silhouette that's standing in the window appears to be semi-transparent, um, doesn't seem to fit an accurate height to where the window is as to where the floor is. It's very clear. I don't know if I have actually just spotted or street, Google Street View picked up one of the many, many spirits that I experienced in this house as a kid. I'm I'm blown away. I'm excited, but at the same time I'm trying not to be too excited and think okay, possibly it could be somebody that's living there. Um I don't know. I don't know. I am a little bit gobsmacked at the moment. Um so I've put I've put the photos up on my Facebook page. Um, I will probably try and attach them to this somehow. I don't know how, but I'll, I'll try. Um, you guys make up your mind. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's a real person. Um, or tell me if you think that it's a big possibility that I have actually just gotten a photo of one of the spirits, um, that were active in that house when, when I was a kid. And I'm talking, there was a lot. There was a lot of things that happened in that house. Um, from that moment on, it's almost like there was this doorway opened up from this guy. Um, just crazy, full-on stuff. I have so many vivid memories of the apparitions and the experiences that I had in that place. So, um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think.